Hey everyone, I have a quick video on namespaces. A namespace provides a solution for preventing name conflicts, especially in larger projects. Each entity needs a unique name. A namespace allows for identically named entities as long as the namespaces are different. Now, what the heck does that mean? Suppose we have variable x, x equals zero. Each variable needs a unique name. I couldn't create a second variable named x and give this a different value. If I were to compile and run this program, we would run into an error. Read declaration of int x. So each entity needs a unique name. But if we use namespaces, then two or more entities can share the same name. To create a namespace, let's do so outside of the main function. I will type namespace, then some name for the namespace. Let's say first, then a set of parentheses. I could create a different version of x. I'll give this a different value, like 1. Well, this would run and compile just fine. You can have different versions of the same variable, as long as they're within a different namespace. Just for fun, let's create a second namespace. Namespace second x equals 2. This is also valid. So just to demonstrate a few things, I'm going to display what x is. If I don't explicitly state what namespace we're using, we will use the local version of an entity. If I display x, x would be 0. If I would like the version of x that is found within the first namespace, I would take that entity, in this case x, prefix the namespace, let's say first, then two colons. The two colons is known as the scope resolution operator. I'm referring to the version of x that is found within the first namespace, and that version of x has a value of 1. If I need the value of x found within the second namespace, I would precede that entity with the second namespace, followed by the scope resolution operator. So that version of x is 2. So entities can have the same name as long as they're within a different namespace. Now one line that you may see is using namespace, then the name of a namespace, let's say first. If we have some entity without a prefix of the namespace, it's assumed that we're using the entity found within that particular namespace. So if I was to display x while we're using namespace first, x would be 1, and I don't need to add that prefix. But if I need x found within the second namespace, I would still need to prefix it with second. x is 2. If I changed using namespace to second, it's implied we're using the second namespace, and I don't need that prefix. 2. But I still would if I need x from the first namespace. 1. Now there's this evil line called using namespace std for standard. Now the reason that people include this line is to save a little bit of typing. If we're using namespace std, we don't need to include that prefix when we declare strings, or we display output with cout, just for example. Like this would still compile and run. However, the standard namespace has hundreds of different entities. Let me show you. Standard. There's a high likelihood of a naming conflict. For example, we have an entity named data. One alternative is that we could say using standard output. That will cut down on some of the repetitions. Or using standard string. It's a safer alternative to using namespace standard. In the future, I'm not going to be using namespace standard because I would like to steer people away from that. But just in case you see that line, you know what it's there for. So in conclusion, a namespace provides a solution for preventing name conflicts. Each entity needs a unique name and a namespace allows for identically named entities as long as the namespaces are different. So, those are namespaces. Hey, if you're enjoying this series, let me know by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.